Hello and welcome back everyone to a new episode of EU4 here with me, Sneaky Bard, where we are trying to get Hormuz, this island here that belongs to Persia, beneath rightful ownership, and then see how we are going to backstab Karakulu and get their Persian lands, Iranian, uh, Iranian cultured lands, into our um, rightful empire, rightful ownership. Anyway, let's focus on one war at a time. So let's see how we are going to get Hormuz, first of all, into our country. There we go. Let's smash that one stack. Awesome. And this stack. Yeah, your Miltech is 18, mine is 19 apparently, if I remember correctly. So let's see if I cannot smash you before you get that fort there back. Unlikely, I assume. Oh, nice, we got that fort. Converted some heretics. Let's continue converting them. Ah, damn it, you did get that fort back. Let's give you a leader as well, like this guy. Alright. And then you can become that guy. Oh, well, you can start taking that province back then to us. Alright. Where are you? Okay, you're all going to that province. We have one this province here. Alright. Since we only want this, I think you should be quite amenable to our offer of taking it. No, well, I can't revoke your cause apparently, but I'm completely fine regarding that. And it would only be you and uh, Transoxania who would ever form anything. Uh, in terms of coalition, so let's just do this. There we go. Hormuz has once again entered Persian. Uh, uh, what do you call this? Entered the Persian Coke Prosperity Sphere. There we go. That was some form of a word that meant slightly what I uh, wanted. There we go. And we can take up, which would be interesting. Who are your allies, Karakunul? If I were to say, decide to backstab you completely, you're apparently already at level 20, as it were. Let's not forget our timer either. Oh dear. Ethiopia, yes, we will help you. But not only nominally, we won't actually send any troops. Because why would we do that? There we go, we got a new cannon. What? How did these troops get here? Apparently need to go help my vassal. Alright. You. We don't need you anymore. And you can just go home. As you were. Alright. Apparently took our vassal's land. Nice, our vassal can actually do their own fighting. Amazing. Right. Why is this not um, being unseaged? No idea. You. No. Alright. Mogadishu, you are being very annoying. For trying to take control of our land here. Uh, actually, no. That is where we say no to you and decide that we're no longer allies. Wow. Yeah, the Ottomans are going for the Kurdish lands here. So, let's just get our stuff back. Your only ally was Karakuyumu, wasn't it? So let's go. Oh, we have no Castus Belly, apparently. 
incorporate Sauron into our country. Uh, okay, we can keep it, but we will just fabricate an old-fashioned claim on you. Because that blue... whatever, like spot on the map just looks too ugly to be left there like that. There we go. Okay, uh, <clears throat> obviously we can't move into the Zagos Mountains. Like, what is going on? Let's get to Plotek. Right, let's kill one of you guys. There we go. Awesome. And him. Where are you going? Somewhere? You converted some heretics? Ouch, someone died. A king died, I think. And we have a Regency Council once again. Oh dear. Well, only for one year. Thank God, because I was thinking this is the third Regency Council we've had in the game, but at least it wasn't a long one like over 10 years, like our other two were almost. Oh. Jampur, yes, definitely. Um, our guy just got to the throne, and now we have more yearly corruption. Chakansha, where is that? Ah, over there. Alright. And now. Let's use our military points to strengthen our government. Come on. Strengthen the government. Let's have a yearly legitimacy one as well while we're at it. Right. You... I want you to have a leader as well. Alright, we shouldn't keep it paused, otherwise nothing moves forward. We didn't quite manage to wipe, stack wipe you, but let's do that like this. Where are all these Mogadishu troops coming from? Or Basran, sorry, not Mogadishu, Basran troops. Don't look at the map a bit more carefully. You... Where are you going? Going to build a fort here. Well, in Mogostan. Yeah. And another on. Do we have that? We could get the achievement where we ha build a fort on a desert thingy that produces like um, terrain, cattle. We have a desert somewhere. Kumis is desert. Your desert, but that okay. That must be an easy way of doing this. Trade, trade goods, mountains, mountains, desert. Kahran would be one. Gurian would be one. Okay. You wouldn't though, and you wouldn't. What would a fort over here do? Ah, uh, it would. Yeah, these are not very well placed areas for forts but yeah uh, let's build one over here instead that should be fine that way we have a bit more zone of control coverage of our country in general all right we can build that fort now and let's see here we have a hundred of this, of mill points, so we can strengthen our government again, get some more absolutism. So when is this Ethiopian conquest of Becha going to be over? Not anytime soon. So we could act- oh. No, manufactories weren't invented by us. Damn it. 
let's let's go and fight against uh so <coughs> sorry that was a sneeze and a cough um against Gazi Kumug while we are at it uh you come home and now declare war there we go Awesome. We are getting rid of the border go as it were. And it is a lovely feeling. I wonder if the Ottomans are planning to... What's with the Afghan separatists here? Should I just see if I can't... Um, up the... Actual... Where are these Afghan separatists? Bulk all the way here apparently I think yeah but is it because of missionaries hostile sieges where's the missionary no that's in Bailan Farah hmm annoying but yeah let's just let's see what do we want to do there just put one of you here, where is it? There. But it would be fun if the... What is it? Um, Ottoman war here against Karakri Yunli would be so long that we can actually uh, declare war on them while they're completely weakened. I would love that a lot. Our Mirz is now part of the nation. Ulema, yeah, okay, they can lose some loyalty, I'm fine with that. And here, wait, where was I? I wanted to look where the manufactories were invented. In King Zhu, so in China. No, you stay there. How tragic. The Chinese invented manufactories. So, industrial revolution happens there, basically. Afghan separatists in Kabul. Oh dear. Quite a few of them. So, let's go and send one of our guys here. And now, declare peace here. And say you're not allowed to have that core anymore. Awesome. Now the map already looks much nicer. Much more verdant green, as you can see. When's our truce with Karak Yunlu? Oh, we don't have a truce. Why am I still allied with you? I'm not even, like... I'm pretty sure I dishonored your call to arms but it somehow still still said that the alliance was uh, a thing strange hmm. well we just got rid of it so there's that and you want more land once again but this there we go Good news, alright. You still love me, despite me being a jerk and abandoning you. And what's going on here? Alright, nothing much. And you. I want you to slowly move towards here. The beta for centuries, paper mills, but. Sorry, I clicked that away. Apparently something regarding paper mills has been invented. And you here. Converted some more heretics. No, don't cancel that. Take this. Ah, damn it. We almost made it in time before there was that. Uh, before they occupied the province and gave it 10 years of nationalism. Okay, a general died in that battle, apparently, I think. Alright, 
let's make sure that we're not suffering too much attrition here. Another invention. Ooh. Kind of communal particular mist. Yes, I'm willing to give you some um what is it? Access. Go, let's okay. We can't do anything with our diplo points at the moment. There we go, let's convert some more. Alright, you where are you going? Let's smash you. Right, when's our truce here up? 55, so in four years. Let's hope they don't take land that we want too much. A royal marriage with Jampur has ended. Now let's remember to improve relations with them as well. Oh, what's going on in India? Assam is getting big. Even though most of the reason why they look so big is um, Tibetans. Okay. Our heir will die and we will get a mosque. Our heir wasn't that great. Wait, that, that heir was actually good. I thought our king died. We want a weak guy who has nine. No, we will just roll with it and hope that we have a... Okay, that's a, still a decent guy. He actually has a strong claim. Good. More people who want to rebel against us, apparently. And make sure that you have a general. Like the king. Because our heirs and kings seem to be just dying left and right at the moment. Right. Do we want to do here? Yes, we wanted to build another level six fort. Now these do cost us quite a bit in terms of money. We might want to have a look at. Yeah, basically doing this. Let's get this idea. We'll get more national tax modifier, which hopefully puts us back into positive. Ethiopian conquest of Beha. Okay, with Kaffa, it's white peace now. Got rid of the nationalists. Awesome. Alright. The yeah, age of absolutism thing isn't going too well. But then again, I do find it, unless you play in certain regions, it's quite hard to get anything out of absolutism. Uh, yeah, let's see. Definitely, let's try and see if we can't get... Uh, wait. Okay, I thought the general actually gave us a general, but no, that's the military. Um, military points. Uh, answer. We want admin points, though, because admin points are just very, very... Uh, scarce right now. Yeah, let's just get have it get what? Jampu isn't giving us anything. Uh I was Because we just used admin points quite a lot to do pouring and stuff like that and we did the idea as well. So it's nice to get admin points. That was my idea. You know, let's send another uh missionary. Alright this goes on like this, then we should be able to actually declare war on Karakuyunli and win with surprising ease. That would be interesting. But that time we have seven minutes, so we should be fine. Now let's not shorten the training. Let's kill the manpower. The announcement of sect practices. Yeah, let's get less national unrest. That is always good. Okay, 
you are apparently uh, die of suffering attrition. We don't like that. Mogostan. Okay. So Mogostan should apparently be a core now. Yes. Right territory thingy. So yes, let's do that. Okay, yeah, you can be a... Ah, yeah, let's get stability. And, um, yep. Yeah. Alright, our rebellions are slowly dying off. Now I'm just waiting to see... Wait, what? Oh, sorry, the Ulema, once again, say we have too little land. How dare you. Let's give you this cheap one. Go with mysticism again. Ottomans gain spy network on us. They don't particularly like us, do they? So let's see how much they take and then we will take the rest of Karaki Yunu for us. I mean, they do want all of Mesopotamia, don't they? No, they just want... Anat the Anatolian stuff, apparently. Well, they consider all of this to be there, so there's not that much left for us at the end of all of this. Which is a shame. Come on, when's our truce over? October 55. It's about a bit more than a year. And then we can attack. What are you allied with, Basra? Basra, you do realize that this just means that I'm going to eat you too. L'état c'est moi. Yes, why not? We did get a free stability after all. Alright, let's maintain you there. Gotland! Gotland exists? Oh my god, Gotland exists! Hallelujah. Okay, a truce with Hedjas, Hormuz ended. Gotland exists. We need to protect Gotland. Who are you allied with? Poland and Lübeck. How did you come into existence? That's awesome. The Republic of Gotland. You are a republic, aren't you? Yeah, you're a duchy. But they do have some nice ideas going on for them. So, co-creation cost is in their traditions, development cost, mercenary maintenance. Extra merchants, yeah, it's mainly the cooperation cost that's nice to have there. But there was a EU4 multiplayer session by the developers where there was a hilarious thing going on regarding Gotland, so that's why I do like to keep my tabs on whether Gotland someday might actually be uh, independent again. Oh, that's that's our time up. So that is it, the end of the episode, as it were. So we will just wait for the opportunity here to attack Karakunlu while we stabilize our country, convert everything to Shia, and then in the next episode we will hopefully get most, if not all, the lands in the Persia region that we have permanent claims on. We can finally call this an episode, so uh, for the next Let's Play series, as I already told I think two episodes ago, I had been thinking of doing a The Buddhist Strikes Back campaign for Ceylon, where we need to conquer all of India and convert it to Buddhism. But another really nice campaign is the Saladin campaign for Hizen Kaifa, where we need to re-establish Saladin's empire by basically becoming Mamluks on steroids. But if you have any other ideas of campaigns that you'd like me to do, then just put that in the comment section. and. If you did like this episode, then do remember to like and subscribe and to spread the word. I will see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.